is Omar G from X Trades, uh, from the X Trades staff. Um, if you like the video you're about to watch, uh, please like and subscribe our channel. That's very helpful for us. Uh, I'm going to talk real briefly about uh, following a specific sector and what that's been uh, like for me, uh, how helpful it's been. I follow the cannabis sector, weed stocks, uh, companies like Sundial Growers, uh, Grow Generation, Tilray, and I'm posting about those stocks pretty constantly on the main stock section um, and posting plays, watch lists. Um, I started on X Trades about two years ago with the intent of only following cannabis stocks, and I now know a lot more about other sectors and have followed some other uh, areas, blue chip stocks. I've, I've traded Tesla and AMD and other other companies, but really my main focus is still on cannabis stocks. That's what I look at every day. That's what I follow. Uh, when I see big news or I see a big change in the sector, I'm always posting about it on X Trades. Um, so let's talk a little bit about uh, how I follow the sector and what tools I use to do that. So this is my home setup. Uh, I've got two monitors. Uh, you, I think for you know everyday trading, you need at least two monitors, maybe three. Uh, I haven't tried three. Uh, you need some beverage, <laughs> some coffee, or something like that. And you know, as you can see, I've got X trades going pretty much all day on my right monitor, just so I can see discussion and follow. Uh, threads and we, oh, we just got an alert on grow generation. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, my main screen is trading view for most of the day when I'm, when I'm actively trading. And um, I've got a couple of indicators that I use on here. Um, but what I'm doing all day is just, I have a, a list of tickers and tabs up there, uh, SNDL, GRWG, um, HYFM, some of the major cannabis tickers I follow. I set alerts on a lot of those, uh, highs and lows. If I if I wanna know when it's going above a certain level, above some of those support and resistance lines, um, I'll set an alert above and an alert below so I know, you know, oh wow, this is really tanking today. I need to post something about this. Or uh, it's going above a level, a price target that we gave earlier. So uh, let's take a look, closer look here at GRWG Grow Generation, which I alerted a, a short on earlier. So here's the alert we posted earlier. We got in at 574. Uh, what's it doing right now? Oh, it's at uh, about 561. It really lost momentum at resistance and I had a feeling that it was going to go down as volume was starting to drop down in the sector. If I zoom out a little bit, you can see here, uh, there's our volume going down. And here is our buy to close alert to close that short. Um, you know, not a huge gain. Uh, what do we make? About 2%. Um, you know, but it could gain momentum back up and, and start to creep up again like the sector has been doing all week. But, you know, this was a solid little 2% trade. No big deal. The other tool that I use is in my trading software. I use a software called TradeStation. Uh, they're, you know, pretty decent broker. And I have a watch list that I keep track of all day to see kind of what the action is in the sector. Um, I can sort it by percentage of change. I can see who's losing, who's gaining for the day. Um, I have about 50 tickers. I think that's the limit on each watch list and I have multiple ones, but this gives me a general idea of what's happening in the sector, who's leading the sector, who is not, uh, you know, what the, where the gains are. Um, and I trade accordingly, uh, based on this and based on the trading view, um, support and resistance levels. That's generally how I trade is I'm looking at who's gaining for the day, where the momentum is. Is that momentum going to continue or is it going to hit a wall and go the other direction? Uh, if I'm going to short something, it, it'll be something that is peaking and I, that I think is losing volume. Um, and I will usually alert that accordingly. Uh, so to me, the advantages of uh, following one specific sector is you just get to know the price range really well. Like, you know, if this goes over $4, that's a huge deal. If it goes under three fifty, dollars like that's bad news. Um, I know really intuitively like what is a good day for grow generation or what's a good day for sundial. Um, so following the sector so closely, seeing the price action day after day, it really gives you an advantage um, from other people who might just dabble in the sector or only look at it when there's a huge price surge across the sector. Like I have a pretty good idea of where things usually um, lay in terms of pricing and when there's a big surge that we really need to pay attention to. Um, and because I have trading view and I'm looking at multiple tickers all day, I can see trends. I can see when they're all kind of going up at the same time or when we've all hit a peak and they're all hitting resistance. And I'm like, okay, now's the time to short because it looks like everything's about to uh, rug pull here at the same time. Uh, not all the cannabis sector tickers move in tandem, but a lot of them do. And you can tell a lot just from looking at four or five of the major tickers like TLRY and SNDL 
seeing how they're moving together, and then comparing that with how the entire market is doing. I, I look at SPY um, and see what that's doing all day because sometimes there's a good correlation between the, the weed industry and the tech industry. Um, but that's really kind of what I look at all day is I'm looking at you know, pricing, I'm looking at resistance and support levels, and I'm looking at what the market in general is doing and how that's impacting um, the cannabis sector. Of course, if news breaks, if a state decides it's gonna legalize cannabis or we get some federal cannabis legalization news, that's gonna affect pricing too. So I'm also looking at headlines. I look at Yahoo Finance, the Wall Street Journal, uh, Bazinga, I, whatever is offering good news. A Marijuana Moment, that's a great website that is in the nitty gritty of what's happening with legalization. Um, so that gives you some insight into what I'm looking at day in, day out in the cannabis sector. Um, we really enjoy having this community on x to talk about this stuff. So again, please like and subscribe to these videos if you enjoy them. And uh, in future videos, I'll get into more specifics about how I use TradingView, um, how I look at the, that chart of uh, ranked percentages and, and how I post that, um, and also how we use that information to kind of post good trades on x -Trades itself with the app and um, the Discord. So uh, good to see you all. Thank you so much for joining me for this video and hopefully we'll have more for you like this in the future. Take care.